Hello, I'm the Cartoon Buff here to make a long video for you. It's been a while, hasn't it? Oh, yes. My creator went through some issues. Well, you see, our YouTube channel got into some technical problems where we can't upload a video anymore. Thanks, YouTube. And ha 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 ha. Do, do I have to mention those? the comment section where I couldn't read a comment unless if I had to do some technical stuff to get the person's comment because I can actually read it. Yeah. But I'm back and that's all that matters. So what are we going to talk about today? Well I figured I would talk about one of my favorite shows again. Now I talked about it before but I wanted to bring it up again just because how it's influences me lately? I'm talking about what else? Daria, probably one of my favorite animated series of all time. Now I have reviewed this show in the past, but I wanted to talk about it again. This is not technically a review; more than it is just a a recap. But before and I can go on a little bit about it. Daria is basically about this teenage girl. Who moved from, who moved, you know, I forgot what place, but she moved from Beavis and Bayou Town, because this is, a, you know, this is sort of a, a reboot from Beavis and Butthead. And she, you know, she moved into Wandale with her family. And basically, she's a sarcastic girl. Very sarcastic. She's very 90s. But it's basically 1990. You know, when you hear that, you think of the 90s. And that's what I like about that. Because the 90s is one of my favorite times. Uh, you get her best friend named Jane. You get her dad, Jake, who is just... <laughs> Probably my favorite character from the show, next to Doria, because he's just so miserable. <laughs> I mean, you can tell he wants to do good for his family and all that stuff, but man, he's just miserable. And you got Helen, who's a hard-working mother, who I really respect. I'm not saying, like, she's the goddess of all feminism or anything, but... At the same time, she has a lot of interesting character traits, and it's a character what is really interesting, very hardworking, very, yeah. Um, so much for the show, but the reason why I even brought it up is because I wanted to talk about something for a second. We all have a little bit of Daria inside us. Let's face it. I mean... This is my last year of high school right now, guys. And let me tell you, middle school years, early high school years, I was a sarcastic person. <laughs> um, I would be saying a lot of things, you know. I, I would be all, why do we have to go into this misery? in this miserable school and do things what we already know and all that stuff but it's funny looking back actually it, it really is you know I mean take the 90 things the side take you know take the nostalgic side out of it you just get a really good show what what you were. Doesn't matter what decade you grown up in actually. Now this is obviously going more towards Generation X, but even and then it goes to really all generations. I mean think about it for a second. Who hasn't been a sarcastic? Who hasn't been the fashion diva? Who hasn't been the art type? Who hasn't been, you know, the guy who would like to play a tar all day? You know, these are the things you would see in a high school. 
It really is. It's very interesting, and I really, really, really want more people to check it out. Out. Sadly, YouTube gets a little copywitty on on MTV shows. So, if you can find it in your local store, I would I would advise you to pick up Daria. It's a nice show, and this is sort of like my breakdown analysis of Daria. So, I've been gone for a little while. What am I going to do now? Coming up next week, people. The top eight worst cartoons. Join me.